so we have set the priorities that how you can strategize your score and out of 90 marks paper you have to score minimum to minimum 75 so that you could be eligible to get the seat in your pre and all university Hello friends, welcome to Merit Parsala. Today we are going to discuss on the session IMAT 2023, the target. So how much you are going to target for the IMAT 2023? So the test will be held on 17th of October and you have the Delhi Center also. So you are going to write the prestigious test IMAT on 17th October. But what are your plans and how you are strategizing your test? So today we are going to discuss this in detail. I am Prem Anand from Merit Partsala and I am going to discuss the things which is going to be very much phenomenal for your successful entrance and you can crack the entrance very easily with these at least you can frame out that how much you are going to score subject wise in the IMAT entrance. So first of all, you must know that there are 60 questions, which is including PCMB, Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Bio, Logical Reasoning, GK and Culture. Plus this year they have introduced English communication and not to be surprised that you must have the knowledge about the number of questions because from the last year onward there have been many changes in the question pattern and also the number of questions so this year there are 23 questions in biology and 15 questions for the chemistry and uh, eight question almost for physics and there will be five questions for mathematics five questions for your logical reasoning and four questions will be included in your GK and culture English communication hopefully. So these are the number of questions where the each question will carry 1.5 marks and if you have one fourth negative marking then you should be very much careful that how much you have to score and subject wise how you are going to score. So we have set the priorities that how you can strategize your score and out of 90 marks paper you have to score minimum to minimum 75 so that you could be eligible to get the seat in your pre and all university so let's see that how we can achieve this target of 75 out of 90 and how we are going to approach the subject wise paper and the difficulty part and the easier part how we are going to tackle that so as you can see here that uh, in biology you have 23 questions which consist of 34 and 5 34.5 marks so 34.5 that means out of this if you are targeting minimum to minimum 20 to 21 questions then it can come up to the, your score 31.5 out of 34.5 let me just uh, give this uh, reference here that for biology students if the question numbers are more in biology then it is but obvious that bio student will be cracking the bio paper very easily and they will have more confidence in scoring biology in biology paper and they will have more confidence in getting the score in biology paper first therefore if you are not targeting more than 90 percent in uh, the biology section then it is not possible to get to a, a decent score in other subjects so apart from biology there are 15 questions in chemistry that is uh, consisting of 22.5 marks so we have means uh, uh, given the target of 13 into 1.5 that comes to 19.5 out of 22.5 marks so chemistry again it's uh, been a favorite of biology students therefore you if you are scoring this much means so out of 22.5 if you are scoring 19.5 then it is going to be decent score for you so you can add up biology and chemistry now and moving to physics which is eight questions almost this could be means approximate question number i am saying because cumulative physics and mathematics they have given the numbers in total 13 questions so when there is a uh, means a priority of uh, subjects then biology chemistry physics like that 
only they come up to maths and lr and gk therefore i have just uh, articulated this that uh, physics could have eight question numbers which comes to 12 marks so out of 12 if you are scoring 10.5 means out of eight questions seven questions you should target because there is only the conceptual questions and if you have prepared like that only then you will have better edge in scoring physics uh, subject because there are a lot of uh, means easy part in physics uh, which, which uh, i too have seen in the question papers but for bio student i understand that uh, it would be a bit tougher for them because uh, again there is calculation part in physics but I don't think that if they are asking about the discoveries and uh, all sorts of questions then you are going to score better and you can maximize your score by having at least 90% marks in physics also. So it comes to 10.5 upon 12. Next mathematics again it could be your nightmare because you are a bio student but anyways if you are scoring uh, means 4.5 out of 7.5 it could be a better part if at all you are not going to score that much then it comes the number of LR logical reasoning where these two subjects LR and maths these two subjects before 2023 it had been the deciding subject but now I think that LR is still having some role in deciding the score because LR is totally different for bio students totally different for non-mathematical background students therefore it is necessary to just score sanctum in LR also at least out of five you should attempt four questions and it should be correct also so that you can get 6 out of 7.5 and for GK and communication I cannot say anything about it because it's very riskier to just work upon four questions of these two subjects and for GK whatever we have as Merit Parshala Institute has given to students that could be well enough because I have given not less than 500 questions to our students and and they have received more than enough the encyclopedia and the Britannica like those things uh, means uh, studying stuffs so those uh, questions from GK if it clicks your mind that yes these are the current affair question and you know it well or you are having 80% chance to just click on that answer then only you should take the risk in GK part and English communication I think there could be the possibility that you score 100 out of 100 that is two questions are there so out of two as an English medium student you should have uh, means uh, scored well in English 2 in at your 12th level and your 10th level so like that only question should be there a bit it will be logical so if you have practiced uh, uh, means uh, uh, not uh, more than uh, uh, five hours or six hours in the whole preparation duration then also you can score uh, means 100 out of 100 means uh, that is the two questions uh, means uh, uh, three qu three marks uh, you can get easily so all together you can see here that you will have minimum to minimum 75 out of 90 that is 83 percent score then only you could be guaranteed a seat in the pre enrolled university why i'm saying this because the biology has a great role now they have given that 23 questions will be the from biology section therefore the biology student they will be highly motivated to attempt the questions of biology but yes at the same time there is not any easy path to score in biology too because they will be putting lengthier questions so it will be time taking no doubt about it and the students who have experienced neat paper in 2021 then they would have experienced that the biology questions were very very lengthier so that was 
statement and assertion based usually it uh, it came into uh, that uh, aims paper and also in chemistry they had one or two question like that but in biology when they gave such paper then students were totally amazed that how i can solve these questions and the, the number of questions were uh, means the same but uh, they had to fight with the time management that's why it's very much necessary that if you are good at biology also good at chemistry also then you should have looked after that time management how you are approaching the question how you are solving the question how you are using your tricks and tips so everything will be favorable on the day of your test when you have practiced your plan for a longer time and you have strategized your planning in a very well mannered so that you can score at least 80 to 85 percent to get the seat and the universities where the crowd is means uh, you cannot expect that this year there would be more and more crowd so you have to be very much competitive enough to just score very nicely decent score so that you can get the seat over in into your university where you have pre enrolled so thank you so much for watching and next session i'll discuss again with the strategy and planning of the imat and post imat what you have to do for the admission for the visa everything we'll discuss in detail so again i'm thanking you keep liking keep subscribing bye bye